No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, if you're wanting a white Christmas, you're going to have to wait until next year, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But we are still going to see occasional bouts of cold weather between now and then, such as this morning. It was 31 here in the metro, not really too cold, but Brandenburg 17 degrees. Brandenburg lies in a very low spot, so they're often the underachiever when it comes to those temperatures. But even Carrollton got down to 22 this morning, so it certainly was a cold start. Our temperatures have recovered, though, quite a bit. We're now in the lower 50s, 50 one degrees here. Pretty much sunny skies across the area, but there are some high cirrus clouds off to our north, and I do think we'll notice those clouds increasing a little bit as we continue through the afternoon today. So still going to be a nice day as those temperatures are going to make a run at almost 60 degrees. Really not feeling like December, but our next weather maker is this storm system right here. Center of it churning along the Kansas and Oklahoma state lines. there, bringing a good amount of rain to the central to the eastern half of Kansas down through Oklahoma and into parts of North Texas there. This is going to bring us that rain at late tomorrow evening, so we still have about 36 hours or so before those rain chances really begin to increase, and we'll see that now with future cast as we head into the afternoon. It's showing our temperatures in the middle 50s using those high clouds to reflect some of that heat, but I think we'll make a run at 60 degrees. It'll be a mostly cloudy day for us tomorrow, starting off in the 40s. We'll stay dry for most of the daytime hours, maybe a few showers to the west of I-65 during the day, but as we head further into the afternoon and evening hours, still seeing mostly dry conditions. It won't be until after sunset and really around the 7 to 9 p.m. time frame that we have a cold front begin to push through and we see more widely scattered areas of light to moderate shower activity. Unlike last weekend, I don't anticipate us having any thunderstorm or severe weather with this. Showers will be ending early on our Sunday morning and then we'll notice our temperatures falling gradually throughout the day and looking to be be uh, still a pretty decent day for us, but it is going to be sweater weather for sure. Enjoy that because we're going to notice a very big change coming on Monday. As for how much rain we could see from this, it's better than nothing, but we still need more to make up for the almost six inch rainfall deficit we have for the year. Total should generally be under half an inch for most areas, maybe seeing a little band somewhere uh, that could see up to three quarters of an inch of rainfall. So beneficial, but we still need a little bit more. Warm weather today, warm sunshine, those highs making a run at 60 degrees, especially south of the parkways for this afternoon. As for tomorrow, still going to be fairly mild, warmer than normal, middle 50s for us, again possibly touching the 60s down near the Lake Cumberland area with those late evening showers moving in. Here's a seven day forecast 51 Sunday. I did put the down arrow there because I think that high will happen around midnight and then we'll be in the 40s during the day. Temperatures are going to tumble on Monday 42 for the high and falling. That's going to happen in the morning hours, so most of the day will probably be in the 30s and quite windy at that. I suspect we'll have those winds gusting out of the northwest up to 35 miles per hour. That leads us to a day on Tuesday only in the 30s, but thankfully that does not last for very long as we'll be back into the upper 40s and low 50s for the first day of winter, which really starts Thursday night at 1037 p.m. So the first full day of winter on Friday still looking unseasonably warm.